So the alchemy table was where we were stuck, wasn't it? Yeah. Because we need melon. Yeah, we need melon, we need chromatic steel blocks as well. Uh, right, I am going to go on a melon hunt, I think. Now I've got an elytra. Alright. Um, because I want to try and find melons. Remember to, at the very least, put unbreaking on them, because they are Hell fragile. Yeah. Good point. Um, I think that one. There we go. What did you say that you wanted a um, perfect Benny site for? Uh, I was going to do a quick farmy farm to get some stuff faster, but I've already spent my skill points now and I'm going to just save that for later. It's for doing, yeah, it to do a regret flask, but I just don't think mm -hmm. it's super necessary. Uh, right, let me yep. get that nature's compass right. back up again and go looking for... So, it's going to be, what was it again? Desert uh, villages um, or savannah villages. Mm. Let's have a look. Desert. Might not, if we find a desert, it might not even have. Yeah. Uh, just a uh, so far away. Just, just a quick question, so I can potentially be getting on with stuff while you're away. Uh, did we decide on our first research? Are we going to go for draws, or do we want to try and go? Oh no, refined is six. Never mind. We'll start with draws anyway, because it's less expensive. Yeah, I think just for for basic ease as well, draws works out better because. Um, the refined storage discs are so expensive. Mm. Um, you know, sixteen drawers will hold sixteen thousand items. Yeah, they've yep, got to be like sixteen a thousand of each item, but it just still works out way cheaper. Mm -hmm. I'm half tempted to say, do we go for vault compasses first, just for ease, because the vaults are going to start getting bigger. Honestly, I think at the minute the vaults are the vaults are still quite small. And vault compasses are cheap, mm. whereas this storage system is rapidly going to get out of control. True. Yeah, let's just save up and get drawers then. We should probably already can afford, right? Well, I've just I've just thrown you two knowledge stars if you want to demonstrate to uh, viewers. Ah, yes, of course. So first of all, we get these things, which are knowledge stars, and then we eat them because tasty, tasty blue knowledge. And then we go into here, and we've now got. Two unspelt knowledge points, so we can go and look at all of our research, and then draws, find that, this one. And you'll see it costs two to research draws. And it adds rewards to mod boxes for draws. So we do that. Research that, and we've now unlocked draws. So we can now build anything that involves draws, because we're in a research party together, so it'll unlock it for both of us. So now, for example, if we search for drawers you get all the things that are in drawers such as framed drawers and such like and all that we can now make all of these uh, there's different types of drawers there's one by two drawers which are uh, two slots in each so it takes the entire capacity of the drawer and splits it between two items you've got two by two drawers which takes the capacity of the drawer and splits it between four items and you've got um, just regular drawers which are one big and they um, just keep 32 stacks of an item in one slot and that's it all that's all, that's all it does you've also got something called compacting drawers it holds 128 stacks of an item uh, per draw you can increase that with these um upgrades so different things different upgrades cost more but they do more so for example the um storage upgrade version 5 increases the storage 32 times so for example on the one by one drawers uh, that is 32 times 32 stacks that you can, you can store um, and the compacting drawers, how they work is they hold one particular item, for example, they might hold vault bronze, but they automatically compact it into showing you the maximum bronze you can have, silver and gold. So when you attach it to like a storage system, you can see exactly what you've got and it'll pull it out. Um, you can pull it out already done. You don't have to pull out bronze, go into a crafting bench, make it into silver, make the silver into gold. It just saves you time in the long run. They're quite expensive compared to some of the other drawers, but they are very useful for certain items, basically. So that's effectively how that works. Um, can you not make framed one-by-one -one drawers anymore? Have they just not got that in there? Um... I don't know. Framed I draw. I'm assuming if you can't see them, then uh, no. It is there. It just wasn't showing up when I searched drawers specifically. Oh, okay. I don't know why, but yeah. Not that we really need one by one. I think two by two is probably the way to go, but... Yeah. Because two by two is just any two by two draw surrounded by sticks and you get a framed one and then you can make it look like whatever you want. 
Yep. And I'm half tempted to make them all look like calcite, to be honest with you, so it kind of matches the building that it's in. Why not? Like, if you do if you do polished calcite and make them all look like that, you'll also be able to read the numbers really clearly on them as well, which would be nice. Mm. Right. Sounds good. Savannah. Search. Super far away. Everything is about 2,600 <laughs> blocks away, isn't it? Um, yep. Does the... Does the Terralith jungles, do you reckon they spawn? Do they reckon another? Well, the nearest Terralith jungle is 20, 24,000 blocks away. That's a bit far. I'm not going there, shockingly enough. Um, <laughs> That's um, just a little bit far, yeah. So just, let's just do a regular jungle. Um... Regular jungle's 2,000, so that's the closest one to us, and it's a 354 minus 1618. So 354 is going to be this way, 354, and then minus 1168, which is about 354. There, near enough. Create a temporary waypoint. Near enough. I'm going to sleep, make some rockets, and then I'm going to go and see if we get lucky and there's a village in it. Because jungle biomes spawn them, and also jungle villages might have them, because mm. they might be growing them as a crop. Yep, true enough. So, might get lucky. Let's have a look. Uh, we've got gunpowder, I'm pretty sure. We do... And we've got uh, sugar cane. That's where we had to do that. Just, I'm just blind. Yeah, yeah. I'd say we should have caught a lot of it. Cool. Um, blind there. I've got 36 rockets on my dash. So that should do us. And I'm heading towards my. Oh! Well, that's going to need to be, um... I'm not going anywhere yet. I'm going to fix that. <laughs> oh. Nothing to see here. Nothing to see here. Just a giant hole. How the hell did he blow that bit up, but not the rest of it? That's just baffling. I legitimately don't know. Um, wait, so that's there, that's there, that's there. That should be there. That should be there. I don't think I've got anything else on me. No, that was that was all I managed to get. Yeah, I just made some <laughs> fresh bits. My leaves! Some of them oh. got destroyed. <laughs> the leaves look really pretty <laughs> as well, that's, you know... Honestly, it's bamboo leaves, we get millions of them, it's not hard I mean, to I'm, I'm carrying 36 because of that explosion. <laughs> Yep. It's gonna... So just uh, smash them back down wherever. Doesn't particularly matter. Shame you can't put them on the wall. It'd be quite nice to have like little axes yeah. on the wall and stuff. I was hoping that you could, but unfortunately you can't. I wonder if you can compost bamboo leaves, because this would be a really quick way to get loads and loads of compost. Um... I feel like I've tried and you can't. I could be wrong though. Uh, you can do 50% chance compostable as well. So if you want to set oh, up a, right, set up an auto compost where we can just dump them in a chest, it's just a free way to get an absolute shed load of compost for very little effort. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Right, let's try this again. Um... Oh, well, that woke you up. That did wake me up quite well. <laughs> um, right. Oh, having an elytra again is blissful. Did you put on braking on it? I did. Good. I listened, I followed destructions. Please, no more destruct. Did we need anything else while I'm out here? Ooh, that was, uh, that was roses that just flew past. I'm going to grab those. Don't mind if I do. Sorry, I interrupted you there. Uh, I've entirely lost my train of thought. Carry on, I will say something if it comes to me. 
Thank goodness for you pre-genning a load of uh, chunks, because otherwise this would be the hardest thing to do ever. It, uh, yeah. <laughs> it uh, came in very handy while I was flying around looking for stuff as well. I have a horrible feeling this might be the smallest jungle biome in existence. Ooh. However, it does have melons. Amazing. I love it when a plan comes together. We don't have any acacia like saplings, do we? Um, I'm going to say no, because I don't believe we've seen any yet. I'll grab some while I'm here then, because there is trees. Oh, there's cocoa here as well. I'll grab that while I'm here. Oh, yeah, that's always handy. Just any odd bits that we're inevitably going to need at some point. And I found a calcite deposit, so I'll grab that as well, because why not? How much do... Yeah, I gathered six stacks apparently when I was out. Oh no, wait. Make that ten. So we've got ten stacks of calcite. One, two, should, three, four, five, six, we need seven. it? And I've just got another seven, so... It's just a really handy block for like that clean look. Mm. Yeah. I mean, I can burn through... You know, three and four thousand of a block just in one building, so. Yeah. Right, does this tree degraded to give me any saplings yet? Or is it just taking its sweet time? Apparently. Just getting a sapling from this case here is just not a thing we're allowed to do, because just not getting any. Rubbish. I cut down more tree, hopefully get more stuff. Did you build any draw stuff before you went, or should I start? I did not. No, that? I did not. Um... Good. Right. Draw control. Oh. oh boy. I've forgotten how expensive that was. Well, it's that thing of you only really need one, so. Yep. Right. You know what I'm going to be doing while you're not there, and that's going to be mining vocals. Do you have to get these saplings from a different way than just the leaves? Am I just losing oh. my mind? Because usually they drop at least one sapling by now, but I don't have any. They're dropping oh. azaleas. I don't need azaleas. Yeah. Am I... Where do I get these from? Turn a jungle... Using mana infusion, turn a jungle sapling into an acacia sapling. Find them in dungeon chests in village savannah houses. Well, we're not going to be making a draw controller anytime soon because we do not even have all of the um, unique ores. Maybe you don't get them from the... Uh... Maybe you don't get them from the stuff then. Fair enough. Eh, well, the more you know. I'm sure you do get acacia saplings from... I thought you did, but... Just dropping from the leaves. Maybe the chance is really low. I don't know. I don't, I don't care enough to uh, stay around here and wait. There. Delete waypoint. Confirm deletion. Uh, could you, perchance, sleep? Uh, yes. Probably should before you never get either phantom or blown up. Honestly. I am on my way home, but I'm 1800 meters away. Oh, that was nice. suddenly very bright and bright and blinding. Hooting. <laughs> Ooh, an ore pile. Yep. Considering the majority of that all came from one bolt. It's uh, not bad going, really. 
quite a nice little pile. Especially when you realise that the Larimar is actually three depth. <laughs> And found the rose bush. Uh, well, there. immediately, immediately kept on the upper lane. And the escalium. No, it's got nothing. Yep, nothing on either the upper lane or the escalium. Oof, that is some real bad RNG. Mm -hmm. Don't forget that there's the um, the thing is Bob said, like you might want to mine other things first, get zero on them, and then. Yeah, I sort of forgot about that, because I got zero on the first two ores, and then on the next few ores I got seven Zebium out of two, five Ashium out of one, and then six Tubium out of two. Yeah. So, not, not a terrible start. But yes, I forgot about the old um, Entropy Mabob. I'm going to plant these melons. You got some melon slices for me. Uh, yes. They're currently on my person. Sick. No doubt someone on YouTube is going to shout at me about having an inefficient growing of things, but mm. you know what? I just could not care at all. <laughs> the amount of guides that... I've looked at over the years. Melon! How do I make a glistening melon? It's just nuggets of nonsense. Yeah, surround, isn't it? surround it in gold nuggets. Luckily, I mined a lot of those in the nether. Yep. And there is two melons. Oh, you thought yep. it was Jimmy. I thought you were doing it. Um, alchemy table. Alchemy table is me melon. Oh, I only need one. I made two. Oh well. Ghast, um, vault diamond, a bottle, nether wart, and a spider's eye. Nether wart. Spider's eye. We got the two steel blocks. Uh, no, not yet. Alright, I need to make some steel up. Uh, uh, why does it have to be specifically smooth stone? That's just such a <laughs> faff for no reason. That doesn't benefit anybody. Yeah, it is a bit annoying. Uh, we do have some stone somewhere. I just can't remember which chest it's in. That one. I will cook a singular piece of stone into smooth stone. There you go, there's your two steel blocks on the floor behind you. No, thank you all. Oop, vault diamond, forgot to get him out of a chest. And voila! Completo. As I uh, throw that at you, there you go. Next, gaining more XP. Craft a plain burger and get ten plain burgers. You can definitely do that. Where's the buns? There's the buns. Huh, my burgers. We've only got two burger pies. Oh no, there's a lot in there. So there's 22 in there, so I thought we only had two for a second there. Sure, surely not. After playing burger, and then how burgers work is you eat them and you get experience. So currently I am three thousand and ten. Done that. Done that. Uh, three thousand and three um, experience out of fourteen thousand to the next level. If I eat these, shift click eats all of them at once. I'm now seven thousand four hundred out of fourteen thousand. So significantly closer. Um, and now do the reach level 10, do that, huzzah, elixir vault, combine a vault crystal um, with a seal, 
in an anvil to set the objective as that thing. So this is an elixir vault seal of the sage. Which is what I just got from the previous thing. I just need to charge a crystal and then I can um, turn that into... Uh, what's this in here? Oh, dual, oh, you've already made the dual cutting station as well, you cheeky man. I have done. I was experimenting to see if I could remake a tool, and uh, honestly, it didn't end well. <laughs> there. Um, I need to charge a crystal. Uh, I need to make a crystal first. I just got the bits out to make a crystal and never actually crafted it, so I try to put <clears throat> iron and chipped stuff just into my... jam it into my uh, vault altar. Redstone, seeds, arrows, and dirt. Okay. Uh, redstone is in the redstone chest, I would assume. Can't remember how much it was. You'd, you'd like to think so, wouldn't you? Two and then three seeds. Uh, I have played on with the server with you for a while, though. I am aware that sometimes things are not where I expect them to be. I mean, that's valid. <laughs> Bong. It's just not as satisfying as attempting to throw a javelin at the one that was at the top of the clock tower. No, well, we'll have another one of those. It'll just be in a more modern <laughs> setting. Yep. Is that all the bounty cards we've got? Seriously. Uh, unless there's some more in there that I've kind of put in the wrong place by accident. That is that. I tried to that. So that will now force this crystal to be an elixir rush. Now, we haven't seen one of those yet, but what an elixir rush basically is, is rather than the objective of the vault be to find monoliths as you go through, each thing you do, so mining chests, opening chests, um, mining ores, killing mobs, everything will have an elixir value. Uh, sometimes that can be barely anything at all, sometimes it can be nothing, sometimes it can be uh, absolutely loads, like a jackpot. And you'll have a bar at the top and your goal is to fill the elixir bar and then find a lodestone and get out of the vault. Uh, once you've completed yours, if you're in there with multiple people, the people that you're with can then help you or you can help them depending who finishes first. It's random each time, uh, so when you're... Uh, filling your bar, what is giving you the experience towards the elixir is random each time. Uh, and yeah, it's um, it's quite good fun. It's a good, it's a, just a different way of doing the vault. There's a bunch of different types of vaults. So we've had the monolith ones so far. There's the elixir ones. There's also like specialist vaults like cake vaults, which come much later. And then one of the ones that's quite fun is a scavenger hunt where you have to find certain items in certain chests. And that's again, random every time that can be quite fun. And what's this next thing? Uh, acquire a regret orb. We've already got some of those, I think, so... We've got regret chunks. Whether we've got orbs is a different matter. Uh, well, we've got enough to make ones. It's easy enough to do that. And then... Bolt. How do you make crystal? There we go. Regret. Orb is Beniatite and those. It's a bit expensive because we need the Benny for other stuff, but quest is quest. Oh, no, we've got some here already. Don't, don't, don't waste your time. We've literally got three regret orbs. Is it chest. craft a regret orb or is it just obtain one? Obtain. Okay, so picking one up might work. Yep, just did for me. So I now I've got Red four more. Bone, so. Snowballs. Oh no, salmon. That's annoying. Yeah, we can go Salmon? kill. We can go kill them in the um. Go kill them in the uh sea, in the sea. Yeah, I need snowballs as well. So that's annoying. Uh, I don't actually know. I, there isn't any snow that I found so far because that's terracotta over there. The only white I've got mm -hmm. on my map is terracotta. My map is looking slightly phallic at the moment. <laughs> Do you know what? Mine is too. <laughs> it's not not ideal, I've got to say. <laughs> nope. It's uh, a good job that I'm not actually streaming because it intentionally, it looks like I've intentionally tried to make it look like a fist wrapped around a phallus. So, <laughs> I have yep. not done anything intentionally. However, um, I find myself 
unable to open my map without worrying about getting a strike against my account. So there's, there's that. Uh, oh, always good when that happens. Why am I carrying these around for? They go in there. Go away. Um, right. Eat that. Salmon what is the animals. next quest? The next quest is acquire a jewel cutting station. I'm not going to make one because I've already done that. But if I go yep. in here, I can show everybody the recipe. So the recipe is two chromatic steel, some extraordinary Laramar, which is basically you take a regular Laramar, you make it into a perfect one, and then you get four of those and it turns it into one of those. It's fairly straightforward. It's the top tier of each jewel. So each jewel's got the regular version, the perfect version, and the extraordinary version. And then a bit of glass and some driftwood. So it's a fairly easy recipe to make. And there's Could one you uh, do me a favour before we go and run a um, not a sage vault, an elixir vault? Could you find me some salmon, please? And I'm going to fly a thousand blocks to get some snow. Uh, yes, I will go and murder some salmon for you. Much um, obliged. 